A lot to get to tonight, starting with the moments before a police officer shot and killed a man who sliced his face with a knife. Body cam video shows the struggle in the middle of the morning at a gas station. This is News 6 at 6. I'm Lisa Bell. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. Daytona Beach Police say this all started with a trespassing call at the Sunoco gas station on West International Speedway Boulevard. News 6's Molly Reed is there with how the officer is doing tonight. We're told that officer was released from the hospital late this afternoon. Now, police say that that confrontation that led to this shooting was actually their second run in with the suspect here today. Both police chief Jakari Young and the sheriff Mike Chitwood here say that the, he was moving so fast. The deputy that was also involved didn't even have a chance to see the knife. It was a blink of an eye. It goes to show you how fast when you see the body camera footage an encounter over a trespasser turned deadly. Investigators say Daytona Beach police were called to this Sunoco gas station off International Speedway Boulevard twice this morning. Employees there reporting 36 year old Benjamin Remley for trespassing. The only other customers pulling his pants down was just trespassing a little bit ago. That second call for police came around 9 a.m. There was a sheriff's deputy who was already on scene patronizing the business, so he was able to get con make contact with the suspect. I got a question for you. I have an answer for you, Evan. Have you been trespassed from this property? The deputy's body camera shows a Daytona Beach officer getting on scene in the two grabbing Remley's arm. No, you're not going to just leave. No, no, you're not touching hey, Stop. Stop. You could see the suspect had, originally he had a lighter in one of his hands as the sheriff's deputy goes to grab the left hand. At which point the struggle ensues. Chief Young says that's when Remley pulls out a knife out of his pocket and stabs the officer in the face. Stop. Stop the knife. Drop the knife. Young says the officer shot the suspect twice. Central Sin Rescue shots fired. So both the officer and the suspect were both transported to Halifax Hospital, and it appears that the officer will make a full recovery but the suspect is deceased as a result of those gunshot wounds. And court records show that Remley did have an extensive criminal history, including violent crimes. In Daytona Beach, Volusia County, I'm Molly Reed getting results, News 6.